So this is the first video of many that I'm going to start posting the types of food that I eat. The number one reason that I'm even creating these videos is because I want to share with other people that it is possible to eat healthy and to eat a ketogenic diet on a typically low budget and a family of seven. I started eating this diet, you can call it a diet, way of life, whatever you want to call it. I'm not going back, I'm not stopping this this meal plan. Um, it's the way I'm going to continue eating all the time. And this diet basically is 75% fat, 20% protein, and 5% carbs. Biggest thing is stop eating carbs, which includes sugar, bread, fruit, anything that would be considered a sugar. Um, not just refined sugar, but anything that would be burned as carbohydrates. And the reason why is because you want to switch your body over from eating easy burning fuel to more difficult burning fuel. It gets your liver to switch over to creating ketones that your body can start burning in more sustainable slow burn. Think of it more as right now if you're eating sugar or bread or anything like that, it's kind of like burning paper. You know, think of a bonfire and you throw paper on there, it burns really fast, but it burns really hot. And then think of throwing a big huge piece of nice oak wood on there that or even something like charcoal or something that would continuously slowly burn. That's what how fat burns. And so you want your body to burn that so you can burn the fat on your own body. So your body is continuously burning that way and then it ends up, when you're not eating, continuing to burn. Now, this isn't just a change of eating. It needs to be a complete changeover of your lifestyle, both exercising, working out, all of that. So in the first few months of doing this, I lost 20 pounds, which was basically, I'd say 80% of the fat on my body. There's, I still have fat on my body, uh, and I still have a little bit of fat that I want to lose in my body, but mostly it was the overweight fat that I wanted to lose. And I wanted to become more toned, but obviously to see my muscles, they need to be a little bigger. So I'm also lifting at home with dumbbells. So this whole system is being done at home in the morning and throughout my daily life of eating. So the challenging part becomes both avoiding foods that my kids eat or that we have during parties or things like that, or foods that are at other locations. So say at work, people bring in food, or I'm at an event, or I'm at a friend's or family or traveling. Uh, traveling's a big one, restaurants. So my goal here is mostly for these videos is to show you that it can be done with simple basic foods and you don't have to go crazy about what you eat it's also what you don't eat so I'm, I try to tell people when I'm telling them quick is I'm basically eating meat vegetables and nuts I'm not eating any dairy okay, I can't say any dairy because I eat some dairy here and there but mostly I don't eat dairy and that's namely because I feel like my body gets allergic to it after eating it a lot. I get my sinuses get stuffy and I can get uh, arthritis a little more. I'm not really sure if that's caused by the sugar or the dairy or both, but the sugar also causes me to have tight joints. My teeth were hurting for a long time and now they don't hurt at all. And every once in a while I can have something here and there and I don't have any of the effects anymore. I think my body's not being just constantly attacked by sugar and by dairy and all that. And I know that everyone's different. Some people can eat dairy and they're keto diet and they're totally fine but I've just decided to limit that to really really low levels so if you have any questions go ahead and ask them in the comments and I'll try to answer them again I've only been doing this at the time of recording this video for probably four months or so definitely not an expert I just really just want to share the foods that I'm eating and get feedback from other people on the types of foods that they're eating you can check out my vlog of just my daily life here but uh, I only show a little bit of my food there. I want these videos to be really focused on everything that I'm eating, why I'm eating it, and a place for us to interact. Don't enjoy Coca-Cola.